Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. I'm doing a quick haul video of uh, some yard sales that I went to, and I am also doing a unboxing. So I have friend mail, and then I have an item that I purchased. So I'm gonna do that first. Um, I did get a heads up on this from Mary Ancestral Beginnings, and she said that um, Sabrina bought something for me. And you know, Sabrina, you just got me something. You don't have to keep doing that. <laughs> but uh, Sabrina is so, so sweet. She's super sweet. She does the Chatty Cathy's with me on um, Sunday with Leanne from Crafty Kitty Vintage. Sabrina is Simon Says Let's Make a Deal. And she does shows with um, Leanne on Thursdays. I think it's at 6 Eastern. And she also, they rotate channels. And she also does um, a sale on her own on Friday. And I'm not sure what time the Friday sale is. So let me see what I got. This is so fun. Oh, how cute. Oh, it's a long note. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is not from Sabrina. I take that back. Sorry, sorry. But I do have a box from Sabrina. And Sabrina is sweet. Sabrina sent me a little uh, kitty cat set recently. But this is actually from Marianne. And Marianne is all in the attic treasures. Please go follow her. Now, she does sales on Fridays. And again, I don't remember the time. I know it's... Um, it's in the afternoon. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, how sweet. That is really sweet. And Mary, I mean, uh, Mary, um, she paid for the shipping on this. And Mary Ann bought me the item. Oh, oh, this is something that, um, that Mary made. This is adorable. Look at how cute that is. She probably saw me commenting um, how much I love this. Look at how cute. Oh, it's so sweet. It's got different like vintage um, pictures or, you know, Christmas pictures on here. That is just so sweet. I love that. So thank you so much. And then she put some little goodies in here, some little cards that I can use, a little ephemera. Very sweet. Awesome, thank you so much. That's always nice when people do that. So that was from them. And I'm gonna put their links, I'm gonna put everybody's uh, links down in the, uh, in my description. And then if you can go follow them, please do, because they're all just wonderful channels. So this is from Sabrina. This is something that I purchased from her. And I think I remember what it is. It has been a while. So let's see what it is. I should put a nice card in here. Sometimes I forget to put cards in. I have cards and I forget to put them in. Um, so let's see, this is from Sabrina. We just did a sale last night. Oops, oh my goodness. It fell out. <laughs> I am really clumsy today. So this must be her business card. Said a little thank you. And a sweet card, I'm sure. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, I think she... Oh, she did include a gift. Hi, Sabrina. Oh, look at little, another little kitty cat to add to my collection. That's so sweet. Oh, Sabrina, you don't have to do that. And this is the item that I purchased from her. And if I recall, it is some kind of um, glass. Let's see. Oops, I'm trying to save this uh, bubble wrap. You know how pricey bubble wrap is. 
And then it's good to recycle, keep it out of the landfill. My best friend, one of my best friends, she um, works at a manufacturing plant and she brings me tons of the big bubble wrap. So if you see the big bubble wrap in your package, it comes from her and she gets it from where she works and she gets a ton of it. And let me tell you what, all that stuff that I don't get goes into the landfill, which is such a waste. <gasps> Look at this. Look at how pretty, it's a little toothpick holder. But you know what? I might put a little bottle brush tree in there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's slag glass. I love slag glass and I love this color. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. So, so pretty. Let me see, I have some little um, trees here. Look at that. So either that tree or whoops, that tree is kind of wonky, but look at that. That is just, I love it. So thank you, Sabrina. Okay, so that is my unboxing. Then we'll go to the yard sales. Um, we didn't go Saturday because it was my granddaughter's birthday party. Uh, we did stop at, I think we stopped at a couple afterwards. Um, and, and I got a bag of goodies, like a goodie bag that has some little Chris, vintage Christmas things in there. And I can't find it. I know it's here because I, I aired them outside because some of them were a little bit stale smelling. And I don't know where I put it. You know, I swear that this house has a ghost that hides things from me. <laughs> I'm just, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Because, I mean, I just had it yesterday. I put it in a safe place. Now I can't find it. But first of all, um, okay, so Saturday after the... The birthday party I stopped and I met Tiger and Brie, Brie Gia. Um, you've probably seen them around. They do a lot of moderating for Misty. Um, so I met up with them. They're zonies just like me and Tiger was selling at a it was like an outdoor flea market in front of a an antique store. Oh it was a beautiful beautiful day just a perfect day. It was in the 70s. The sun was shining. It was just gorgeous. Um, we got there late uh, so people were starting to pack up, but I managed to get a few items. So I'll show you what I got there. Um, one booth next to Tiger's, uh, she was selling, not booth, I guess there were tables outside. She just sold this drawer full of Christmas trees. There's like 11 little Christmas trees in there. So I picked that up. I, I love these bottle brush trees and I can use them for my decor and I can use them uh, for crafting whenever I get around to crafting. Um, and then also at that same, uh, the same vendor, I got this really cool, shiny, bright nativity set. Let's get the sticker off of here. I've never seen this before. I didn't know that shiny, bright made a nativity set. Now they are plastic and all the pieces are there. It's a, um, 12 piece set. I have not taken it out of the box, but I could not believe it, how awesome that is. Now the box is a little bit dented up, you know, it shows some wear. I haven't done any research on this, so I don't know how old this is, but uh, I just love it. I don't see a barcode on there anywhere. So I think it's pretty, pretty old and pretty nice. So I was really excited to get that. And then um, she has some awesome stuff at that. Some things were pricey, but she has some really nice things there. And then on the way out, um, this man was just packing up, but I was able to grab some um, ephemera from him. So I got these postcards. I think I got, let's see, I got one, three, four, five. I got seven of them. Uh, they're all Christmas. This doesn't look Christmas, but it does say Happy Christmas on there. So I got that one. I got this one it says uh, Faith. I don't know what it says, but I thought it was really pretty. Um, oh, here's my glasses. Let's see if these are the right ones that I can read with. Um, trying to see if there's a date on here. It does have a, a one cent stamp. The date is 1911, I believe. And it says, Faith, Hope, and Charity. 
So I guess it's not a Christmas one, but it's a really cute card. This one says, happiness be yours at Christmas. That's really pretty. It's not, um, it has not been postmarked. Somebody wrote on there illegibly. I don't know what it says. Uh, this is a Merry Christmas. And they just wrote Merry Christmas to friend Irene. Oh no, to Irene. That's a really sweet one. Uh, this one says Merry Christmas and it is, it's just addressed to somebody. Uh, but it was never mailed. Some are in plastic sleeves, which are nice. This one has two little birds and a reindeer and some bells. It's from 1911. And it's signed Nellie Bates. And then the last one is A Joyful Christmas. And this one is Hmm. I'm not sure. Again, it has a one cent stamp on it. I can't read. It's kind of embossed. And I can't read. December 25th. I don't read a year on here. Hmm. Really nice. A nice cars. And also from that vendor, I got these cute little... Um, they're like paper dolls. Oh, no, this was from a different vendor. That's right. I got this from another one. So I, there was three vendors that I went to. Uh, I believe this was the only thing I got from her. I thought these were really sweet. Uh, oh, they're actually postcards. They're postcard um, paper dolls. Really sweet. Look at that. So these aren't super old. These are from 19, I think I want to say 84. I don't know if that says 84 or 64. I have to find my magnifying glass. And it's around here somewhere, or I have to double deck. Let's double deck. I don't know where they are. Oh, 19, gosh, I still can't read it. Oh, 1984. So they're not super old, but they're really cute. So there's three of them. Look at those, they're little postcards. Aren't those sweet? Oh, those are so cute. They're, little, they're shiny in the front. That's just adorable. So they must be um, maybe from an old vintage, um, maybe old vintage postcards to reproduction. But I thought they were really cute. So I got those. I think that's everything I got at that little, um, I keep wanting to say swap meet, but I guess it's more like a flea market. Um, and that was fun. They do that once a month in the winter because the winter here is perfect, <laughs> the weather. Um, it, it was actually a little bit toasty. Um, it was cool in the morning and then it got a little bit warm in the sun, but it was nice. Um, then... Actually, the day before, on, uh, must have been Friday? Yeah, Friday, we went to the store sale. Oh, because my husband went out. I wasn't going to go out uh, because I had a lot, a lot of things to do. And uh, he went, and there was one in the neighborhood. He says, you have to come and look. So uh, we did go. I uh, picked up, she had quite a few things. It was a moving sale. Um, this is a president's plate. It has uh, John F. Kennedy, and it has all the other presidents all around. So I didn't count how many, but I'm thinking it was um, all the ones before him, I imagine. Um, let's see, it starts with George Washington, of course, and it goes all, well, they're not really in order, though. Um, or maybe they are. I'm trying to see if I see... Gosh, it's just... Not very good to be blind. Yeah, I don't think they're in order. There's Roosevelt, McKinney, Harrison. Um, they don't have, oh, there's Eisenhower, okay. Truman, Eisenhower. Yes, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, it was made in the USA. It's a nice, nice plate. And then, 
Oh, he said, oh, you have to see this Tom and Jerry bowl. So I got this bowl. It was a really good price too. So it's Tom and Jerry punch bowl. I guess it's for eggnog. I said punch bowl. I guess it's for more like for eggnog. Um, and it has six cups. I only have three in here, but there are six cups. Really nice, nice set. Um, my, hu my husband had these, or his family had these when he was a child. And he remembers this. So um, I wanted to sell this, but he says, oh, I'll be so sad when it's, when it's gone. So I'm, we may keep it for a while. Um, let him enjoy the nostalgia, nostalgia of it. Um, you know, childhood memories. That's why a lot of people buy vintage items because they remember from, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, they remember when they were a child. It brings back really good, warm memories. So um, I may, might hang on to that and keep it for a while. Maybe next year it'll be for sale. So we'll enjoy it this year. Um, I also got this um, liquor bottle. I don't know if this is Jim Beam. This is a big one. Um, I have a green one that's clear glass that is just like this, only it's missing the top. But I thought this was really pretty. Um, I'm gonna see if I could read the bottom. I don't know if it's Jim Beam or not. Um, it doesn't say, I don't think it is. It does say liquor, but um, it's really nice. So got that. I have a lot of things there. Hopefully I can do this quickly. Um, this I got, I'm gonna just show you this real quick because it's on top. I got this mask. This was on the way to the birthday party. We stopped at some yard sales and I picked this up. I thought that was pretty cool. It could be from Mexico, I'm not really sure, but the way it's painted, it reminds me of some of the Mexican uh, decor. So back to the lady sale. Um, oh, this, did I get that there? I think I got this somewhere else. I think I showed this already. Um, maybe I'll find my goodie bag. <laughs> I got a set of swans. Uh, these are, I think it's California pottery. Very good condition. I think my light is going away. It's starting to get dark. Um, it says, oh, Maddox. Maddox of California, number 415, I believe. And I think, I can't read what else it says on the bottom. So it was this one, really pretty. And, and this one, this one's really gorgeous. So I don't know if I'm going to sell these as a set or individually, but they're just beautiful. I try not to make too much noise. And then, oh, I put some things away. Silly me. I washed them and I put them away. Um, I got some little, what do they call them? Swanky swigs, little um, juice glasses. I got a set of three of those. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a picture in of those because I did put them away. But I got this uh, really cool Texas. This looks like the 50s or 60s, but it's a Texas long, let's see, it says Longhorn Cattle, um, Oil Fields, Lone Star State. But it's just a really nice, it's frosted glass. I thought that was pretty cool. So I had to pick that up. And then um, I got a lot of salt and pepper shakers. Oh, first let me show you this glass, <laughs> this cup. I thought it was so cute. Uh, it says, never knew, never met you before, though I knew, what? I'm not sure what this says, hold on a second. <laughs> wrong glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why I brought both of those glasses. Never met you before. Thought I knew everyone. Sniff, sniff, sniff. As a dog sniffing his own butt. <laughs> it's a wiener dog. Look at that. I just thought that was so unusual. I like the unusual, so I had to pick it up. I thought it was good for laughs. So, okay. I am running out of room. Help me, help me. Hopefully nothing falls. 
Um, so I got, oh yeah, these, look at how cute these are. Mm -hmm. Little bird, salt and pepper shakers, uh, made in Japan. They do not have their stoppers, but they're cute just for little figurines for display. I'm dropping a box here. Hopefully it's not fragile. Let's move this over here. Um, this is going longer than I wanted it to, sorry. Uh, these little poodles, I don't know if these are old. They have plastic stoppers, but look at Huda Schnudas. I had to get them. So cute. And I think we're almost done. Um, I got these purple cows. These were made in Japan. They do have their stoppers. Really cute. They face it, they're identical. I don't know if these were two pepper ones or two salt ones. Um, they both have, they both have two holes. So, oh no, they have three holes, I think. I don't know, but really cute. Purple cows. Uh, this one is really sweet. I had one like this, a similar similar to this one. Um, it's these little squirrels. <laughs> they hang on the tree, salt and pepper shakers. Look at that. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, so sweet. Um, you know, salt and pepper shakers don't really sell well for me, but I can't resist them. Uh, and I will have, I think I'm gonna have a salt and pepper shaker sale soon, because <laughs> I have a lot. I have some really nice ones. I thought about doing it on whatnot, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I will or not. So I think that is everything. Now I can put this stuff away. I have, I'm trying to move things out into my she shed um, to get ready for the holidays. So, um, I may not be going shopping tomorrow on my, sen my yeah, Senior Tuesdays on Goodwill. I might skip it um, because I have so much stuff I need to really sell and sales have been really slow. Um, if there's something you see that you're interested in, you can send me an email. I'll put my email down in the description. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I do sales every Sunday night at 10 o'clock Eastern with the Chatty Cathy's. Um, Kathy from the Kitchy Cat is taking a break from us right now. Um, and Leanne is taking a little bit of break. She just had surgery. So right now it's Sabrina and I are doing it. Uh, Simon says, let's make a deal. Uh, it'll be on her channel this coming Sunday. Um, I don't know if she's going to pick a guest, but she's more than welcome to. So, and basically that's it. I may have some pop-up sales or I may do some drop sales. Now, I just did a drop sale today on Instagram. A lot of the items I had uh, that did not sell, so I can't talk. A lot of the items that did not sell in last night's sale, I listed them on Instagram. I'm gonna keep those up until through Thanksgiving, and I'll probably um, take them down on Friday and um, maybe list them on Poshmark if they don't sell. I have some really awesome stuff, so please go check it out. I have a lady, lady head vase that is really awesome. Um, so go check it out. And until next time, oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.